East Ebube Agu, operatives allegedly killed 14 people returning from wedding in Imo State. Operatives of the Ebube Agu security outfit in Imo State have reportedly killed 14 young men returning from a traditional wedding ceremony in Awo Omama in the Oru East local government area of the state. The incidents the Sahara reporters gathered happened on Sunday evening. In a video which went viral on social media on Monday, residents of the community were seen crying, accusing the commander of Imo State Abube Agu security outfit as the one behind the gruesome killing of the youth. In one of the videos seen by Sahara reporters on Monday, tens of people were seen gathered around a highest bus that fell into a gutter where the bodies of the victims were reportedly seen. The people in the video were heard crying and calling for revenge, threatening to wipe out the family members of the Ibube Ago security outfit that participated in the alleged killings. In another video which had also gone viral, a woman was seen lamenting the murder of the 14 young men, saying two of her husband's children were gruesomely killed. While calling for revenge, she asked, or she vowed to tear the Ibubiago commander to pieces, describing him as no different from Islamic terrorists in Igbo land. Efforts by Sahara reporters to get reactions of the Imo State Police Command were not successful. The command spokesman, Mike Abatam, did take his calls or did take his calls or respond to text messages and if he took the calls then why were there no responses i think the intention was that he did not take his calls okay um just trying to reread through this i mean they were found in a bus that fell into a gutter that may, may seem like an accident that i mean again allegedly if the people think that it's a bit ago i mean again investigations have to start going through on seeing what had actually happened look at the actual vehicle and see if there's any malfunction of any kind never really know um the supreme court governor is busy killing his own people to please the cabals that imposed him as a governor May evil like Buhari and Uzodima never befall this country again. The religious leaders have not called the political leaders of the Southeast to order publicly for killing their own people as they are praying for peace. They should also call <clears throat> those in power to order. 14 armless youth returning from wedding were all killed by Ibebe Ago. The church should condemn the act in public. Okay, I think we're really assuming the church has a lot of power here. <laughs> um, I mean, of course, they can't come out and, which they normally do anyways. They do come out and call the government to order in some certain, I mean, not to a, to a full extent of, you know, you are at fault, but they would say, we don't stand with this. We, we don't, we don't accept this. The church, da, da, da. they would give, you know, neutral statements like that, which I guess they have no choice but to do that. Um... I mean, this is very sad. Again, it's alleged. Let's see what the, let's see what, the investigations are saying. And again, the problem with security outfits that are not that are not enforced by the government. I mean, these people will be very liable. I mean, you can really think of the worst of the worst punishment. If there are any regulations or compliance to how, you know, security outfits should behave. They they definitely should not have a right to kill. Well, first of all, I mean, again, with security outfits and their establishments, who gives the authority that they should operate? That is now the problem. This is a pretty big issue. You know, no matter what, yes, I understand the situation in the country. I mean, at the time the Ibuviago was formed, it was due to the fact that the police were not doing their jobs. I mean, the people would not let themselves be killed. This they 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 were established in the, in the intensity and height of the, headsmen cri crisis and clash. So. They sort of had no choice but to be, to exist. Now the problem is, because they've existed for this long and they are doing their job. Can you really fault its establishment? 
although it's establishment, we don't really know what has gone into it and the fact that do, were they given authority by the Nigerian government to shoot, to kill, to enforce whatever? We never really, we can't, we can't really say that. So I think there are a lot of arguments that could be for, but then again, this is murder. And if it is true, or I mean, we don't even know if it's true or if it's not true, but then, and in this case, we'll have to be followed. The investigative team in Nigeria, I don't know if we can, we can depend on it to give us results that we would want. Um, It's sad when it comes to things like this, until you really push for it, you can't really depend on the state to give you updates on what or whatever is happening. But with Ibu Ago, their existence and their establishment was as a result of scarcity. I mean, you can argue if they have the authority to arrest or to shoot. You can argue if they have that authority. And I think that's a very valid argument. However, you can also argue for when it was established and the time and the urgency for when it was established. It was during the the, the um Hesman crisis and then you can also argue that since the Hesman crisis has stopped to a large extent, why are they still running? Why are they still enforced? There are different arguments. Um, but again, it's alleged until we have proof. We never, we can't really say for sure. We only say that we only have, we can only link to Ibe Agu because the people that, you know, are victims, uh, family members of, of, of the, of the ones that passed away, they labeled and said that, and said that Ibeagu is responsible. So, yes, um, don't blame Ibeagu security outfit. Blame those that form the outfit because they are using them against their enemies. Huh. I mean, hope Uzodima Umahi. If you don't believe in the evil and corrupt authorities, they will go after you. To be honest, a lot of the comments are mentioning Hopu Zodima. And again, I mean, those that are of the state and do understand how Hopu Zodima has been leading for the past how many years. I mean, he wasn't even voted in. So I think the people will already who always have a grudge. <laughs> um and you know, they would I don't think the people would ever forget what the Supreme Court did in that moment. I mean, they don't really count him as a governor. So in terms of that respect, I mean pff, Yes, by authority he's there, but how did he get there? He was placed there, as some people would say. But yes, Hope Zodima is being mentioned a lot and as the blame of all this because I mean I don't know if he's been able to enforce anything, but we will see. Put what you think about this in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe.